Hi guys, it's Ray here from Just For Keepers, also J4K, I hope you're fitting well. So in this quick video, I'm super excited to be telling you about our 30 day challenge on how to help you become super confident uh, as a goalkeeper. Seriously, if you take on our 30 day challenge, you'll become bulletproof uh, as, a, as a goalkeeper. Or if you're a parent of a goalkeeper or a goalkeeping coach, you know, if you take this 30 day challenge, that will help you to help your goalkeeping child or your goalkeeping student, uh, if that makes sense. Now, before I explain how this 30 day challenge is gonna work, I just wanna briefly explain how important confidence is because I know a lot of people understand how confidence uh, plays in a really important role as goalkeepers uh, for goalkeepers sorry a lot of people don't they still a lot of people don't realize as well how just how important being confident is as a goalkeeper seriously guys confidence is absolutely everything as a goalkeeper without confidence as a goalkeeper the chances of you, of you achieving your dreams are unfortunately very very slim now i've been running just for keepers now for over 20 years and we've helped thousands of our goalkeeper students to achieve their dreams whether that's become a professional goalkeeper semi-professional goalkeeper gain a college scholarship etc and i promise you every single one of those goalkeepers that achieved their dreams when in fact you would think, sorry, just to digress, you would think that you think it would be the most naturally gifted goalkeepers that achieve their dreams. And it's actually not the case. It's actually the average goalkeeper, but who works on their mindset that actually achieve their dreams. In fact, I've seen it time and time and time again, where sadly the goalkeepers with the natural ability on the field, they don't work the mind. But the goalkeepers with the average ability Work, obviously work their ability obviously obviously they're still good goalkeepers but they're not as good as the goalkeepers with the natural ability if that makes sense but because our, our students who are average on the field because they work their mind and they become super confident they absolutely flew past goalkeepers who are naturally better than them but because they developed their mindset they were the ones that went on and achieved their dreams i've seen it hundreds of times honestly it's that important confidence and again if you're a goalkeeper, a parent or a coach, you know, you've probably seen it. It might happen to yourself if you're a goalkeeper. I know it certainly happened to me where basically, you know, when I was a professional goalkeeper, you know, when I was confident, in, you know, when I, when I had my self-confidence, I felt like I could take on the world. But as soon as I lost my confidence and it happened several times throughout my career, you know, you know, as soon as I lost my confidence, I feel like I couldn't catch a cold. So I went from being a world beater to, as I say, you know, I just didn't want to go in goal. I was actually scared to play. Uh, and I think that's why, you know, uh, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm very, very good at teaching this uh, subject. And it's a subject that should be taught by every goalkeeping coach. But 99% of goalkeeping coaches don't teach how their students how to become confident. Because you've got to really understand being being under confidence and confidence, if that makes sense. And again, without going into too much details, I've been on both sides of the fence. As a professional goalkeeper, I've been super confident and I've had no confidence and I've coached and I've helped literally thousands of goalkeepers over the years um, and I've helped them to, uh, you know, uh, to help them develop their confidence and their self-belief in themselves. Um, and that's something that I'm really, 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 really big on. And as I say, confidence is something that is not taught for, for goalkeepers and even for outfield players as well. And it's something it's got to be done. It's got honestly. So if you're whether you're a goalkeeper, you've got to develop your confidence. If you're a parent of a goalkeeper or a goalkeeping coach, you need to understand first of all how you can develop your confidence because that's another reason why most people can't teach confidence uh, teach others to be confident because they're not confident in themselves they might look confident in themselves but in the inside they're not confident and that's why you'll find again i'm not knocking anybody here but that's when you'll find why a lot of goalkeeping coaches won't coach their students how to become confident because most goalkeeping coaches are not confident themselves they might look it but i assure you they're not and again i'm not knocking any goalkeeping coach uh, as i say it took me a long time to master these skills uh, and the reason why i mastered these skills as well is because i've had to help thousands of my students over the years obviously to develop their self-belief and self-confidence in themselves as well uh, so it is super important okay i'm, I'm sure if you're a goalkeeper uh, you know an older goalkeeper a goalkeeping coach or a parent of a goalkeeper you'll understand that confidence it is it's key okay so that's why we do, we've, we've done the 30 day challenge uh, and that's to help goalkeepers because so once you've done this 30 day challenge it's just a matter of re re repeating it all the time you've got to keep doing it because uh, i kid you not as i keep saying i've been running just for keepers now for over 20 years and i must seriously must have been asked every single day whether verbally 
via text message, WhatsApp message, email, etc. Uh, I've been I've been asked by a, a parent of a goalkeeper or a coach or a, uh, you know a goalkeeper coach or a goalkeeper themselves uh, a, a question about confidence or how to become confident. It's that important. So that's why we come up with the thirty day challenge, uh, and the thirty day challenge is by the end of the thirty days. Uh, you know, you will know what you need to do as a goalkeeper or if you're a parent or a goalkeeping coach, you will know what to do to help your goalkeeper or goalkeeping child to develop their confidence. Because once you're done for 30 days, it's just a matter of repeating it, repetition, and it's super easy to do as well. Honestly, once you know how to do it, it's super easy. It's like if you want to go to the gym and have big muscles, okay, yeah, <laughs> I need to go to the gym. Um, but obviously you've got to physically go to the gym and it's actually physical work. Actually developing your confidence is actually it's actually not hard work at all. You can do it sitting in your chair. In, in fact, that's what I'm going to recommend most of you do it sitting in your chair. Uh, and once you know how to do it, it's super, super important, okay? And here's just a few of the things that we'll, we'll, I'll be teaching you on this on this course. First of all, on the, on the 30 day challenge, sorry, how to visualize. Uh, I promise you, every top professional athlete, whether it's football, golf, tennis, martial arts, I promise you, all the top athletes will be visualizing. It's super important. Now, if, you, if, you, if you've not heard of visualization before, it sounds super complicated, it's not. It's basically like, day, like daydreaming, but on steroids. But I assure you, visualization will help you achieve your dreams and goals. And I assure you, if you ask your, fam your favorite goalkeeper, you know, uh, do they visualize? I'll guarantee they will say yes, every top athlete visualizes their success another thing that you'll be taught as well is how to not let you know when, when you're on the when you're playing in a game situation you know, you know when people are shouting from the line from the sidelines how to basically ignore them how to become bulletproof how and also we'll teach you how to stand up for yourself as well but without being nasty or arrogant but doing it in a confident way and again we've seen with this you know this might have happened to you I'm, well i'm sure this has happened to you as a goalkeeper and as a parent of a goalkeeper you've probably seen this happen sad, sadly to your goalkeeping child where you know your goalkeeping child's playing in, in, a, in a game situation a, a goal goes in which is completely not your child's fault but all the whole team blame your because m m most people don't understand goalkeeping even the manager and the coach don't understand goalkeeping uh, the parents on the line don't understand goalkeeping so when a goal goes in they go oh it's the goalkeeper's fault and they all blame the goalkeeper but what most goalkeepers sadly do is when all the blame gets put put on them even though it's wrong the goalkeeper will put the head down and don't answer back and that's a massive mistake because the more that happens the more it's going to chip away at the goalkeeper's confidence and it's going to completely ruin the goalkeeper. So we will teach you how to be bulletproof and to stick up for yourself in a nice way. Other thing we'll teach you as well, which is super, super important, is when you make a mistake in the game, and it's called trigger points, so that you can instantly forget your mistake and then get on with your game. Again, being fully, fully confident. Trigger points are super important. And I'll guarantee when I explain how trigger points work, you go, ah, I see my favourite professional goalkeeper do trigger points because it's that important. So that's that's a few of the things that we'll just go over uh, in the uh, in, in the 30 J challenge. So how it will basically work is as uh, soon as you've booked on, uh, we ask you to send an email in or ideally a quick video like this of what's holding you back. What's your biggest fears? Because I'd like to see your face, okay? So whether you're a goalkeeper or if you're a young goalkeeper, obviously do it with your, your parents or your goalkeeping coach. And just basically say, hey, Ray, this is, the, this is the challenge that I'm having. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do a personal video back to yourself to say, right, this is what you need to do, okay? Because I want this to be personal. So you can send in an email if you want to, okay? Ideally, it'd be great to have a video because... I'm going to do a video back for you, okay? Yeah, so it's going to be personal to you. And on top of that as well, each week, so every seven days, I'm going to be doing about, about a 15-minute video, uh, and it's going to be on a topic like visualisation, trigger points, etc. And, and it's going to be homework. I expect you to do the homework, okay? Yeah? And then at the end of each, at the end of each month, I'm going to do a live Zoom chat now because these goalkeepers are doing this all over the world uh some weeks some uh, some months it might be on uk time the following month it might be on usa time the month after that could be on canadian time okay because obviously i want to try and obviously get to obviously goalkeepers who are all over the world because again a lot of goalkeepers who are uh, on for example the, the goalkeepers that are booked on to this 30 day challenge uh, uh, up to now we're on three different time zones okay so this is the best way for me to do it so as soon as you book on just do a quick email ideally it'd be better a video if possible just a video to say hey ray 
these are my biggest challenges okay and then i will answer you back with a personal i'll, I'll obviously delete once i've li listened to your video i'll delete your video so i won't keep it on on I won't, I won't keep it in file or anything like that i'll delete it but then i will have a of course i've seen your face i'll have a good idea how to word my answer back to yourself to help you as a goalkeeper or help you as a parent or a goalkeeping coach if that makes sense so again as soon as you book on yep i'll send you an email to say look please send me the burning question then also then as a uh, uh, then yeah, also as well sorry you'll also get the uh, start again put my teeth back in as soon as you book on literally within 24 hours you'll get your first video okay uh the, 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 the basically the 30 day shot the 30 day challenge will begin straight away then every seven days you'll get uh, another video i do expect you to do the homework in between each video and at the end of each month i'm going to hold a completely live zoom chat then that gives you an opportunity then to speak to me personally and again don't worry if you missed one zoom chat because i might be on usa time you could be in canada for example the following month again because once you're on the 30 day challenge you can come to as many of the live zoom chats as you want okay so so it's, it's we, we don't stop after after the 30 days uh, again you can email me obviously because i'll get to know you by being on this 30 day uh, challenge as well so you can email me anytime you want but again as i say if you miss the zoom chats the live zoom chat don't worry you can go on to the next one okay yeah so even though because you with the 30 day remember what i said once you've done the 30 day uh, all you got to do is got to you've got to keep repeating it got to keep repeating it but it's super i promise you once you know how to do it it'll take you 10 minutes a day to do it's super super easy and i promise you it will give you the edge on your competition and not only will it help you as a goalkeeper it'll also help you in life as well okay so it's super super important now you, you will notice as well to get onto this 30 day challenge i am going to be asking for a small payment you'll see below but don't worry by being involved uh, in this, I'm gonna once you once you booked on in true J4K style, I'll be doing something completely. For, I'll be, sorry, I'll be doing something for you uh, that that you'll basically get this course. This this thirty day challenge will be for free anyway. Okay, yeah. The reason why I've got to charge, even though it's all be a, a small payment, it just keeps the trolls away. Because believe it or not, every time I go live. I get some troll. Uh, I don't know why all I'm doing is coaching kids, you know what I mean, and coaching goalkeepers. Uh, but obviously that's life. You get the morons everywhere, don't you? And the only way, unfortunately, to keep these keyboard warriors and these morons and trolls away is obviously by charging something, you know. So, uh, you know, so because obviously that way they're not gonna they're not gonna pay just to abuse someone if that makes sense. Uh, however, I, I promise you. But the gift I'm going to give you you'll end up getting this for free anyway okay so I hope that makes sense so if you're a goalkeeper who wants to improve their goalkeeping or if you're a parent of a goalkeeper or a goalkeeping coach that wants to help your goalkeeping child or your goalkeeping students i assure you this will help big time so please take the 30 day challenge please give me an opportunity to help you build your self-confidence uh, it'll be the best investment in your time that you've that you've made this year okay all the best and i'll see you in the inside